Hello and welcome to the Star Citizen News for the week ending the 17th of July. We look at various headlines and info from various sources about the game Star Citizen and Squadron 42. Links are in the description to almost all of those sources and for more reading informations if you are so inclined. We learnt some more 2.5 info about the upcoming patch. There's obviously going to be a flyable Reliant Core, the Argo utility ship will be flyable and go on sale with at least two of its three uh, module variants. The Grim Hex space station, which is embedded in an asteroid in the yellow system, will be included in that 2.5 patch. It's going to act as an outlaw spawn, but also as generally a less lawful area. So it's not just going to be for outlaws. There are going to be new clothing and items for sale there. There's a flea market type open shop with clothing um, similar to that of Cassava Outlet. There's Scutters, a shop for Grim Hex. Um, as well, where you'll be able to purchase other items. The feel for Grim Hex will be that of Neon Noir. Uh, this patch should be evolving for the reputation system as well, and I expect it to add a lot more FPS-centric gameplay. It's also been rumoured that there might be some form of racing around Grim Hex 2. There are lots of other things that patch 2.5 will bring, more as we know them. It's unlikely that the patch reduction system will make patch 2.5 though, but it should be ready soonish and be put into our hands as soon as it's ready. And this patch reduction system is whereby we would download just what we need for the patch rather than the larger updates we're having to download every patch, which I know for some is quite unplayable if you don't have much of a internet to download. The MFA or multi-factor authentication has also gone live. This added security um, on Star Citizen accounts. You don't have to, to, to have it, but it is worth it as it's only a tiny bit of extra hassle to get a bit more security. This two-factor security allows you to use your email or phone to get an extra code that you can use when logging on onto a new device basically. This way only trusted devices that you've said are trusted can be used even if someone else knew your account password and ID. It's super simple to set up and I've got a video about setting it up, here, link in the description. Um, Bug Smashers showed off the new interaction system named Inner Thought. Um, just a little tiny bit. It's worth having a look if you're interested in that. Again, links in the description. Uh, on ATV, they talked a bit about the um, Herald. It's apparently over 80% complete in its grey box phase. The Levski and Nix landing zone will be merged into a procedural planet or body. Um, it's going to have a temporary home in the mini persistent universe. Frankfurt have made extremely good progress with that procedural tech. So we're going to be able to fly down into that landing zone from orbit. Uh, and that's going to be awesome. Levski will have various areas on it, um, from secure, abandoned to quite dangerous. It's planned for 2.7. Uh, patch as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware anyway. Uh, Subsumption also has made a lot of progress. We heard about it in ATV, but also the monthly report. Um, this will come with big updates to AI, better missions, new content, and it will make it easier for them to add content too. The cargo will be the next major mechanic phased into the mini PU. This will include commodities, buying, selling, unloading cargo, but also smuggling for those of you with black market interests. After that, we should see mining and salvage. It will be likely a pretty simple integration with that, though, to start with, which will evolve. Um, you'll be able to gather ore from, uh, and gas from sites or spatial bodies, uh, as well as salvage things with at least a handheld device. They also want to introduce a service beacon that will allow you to request and accept various services and contracts from other players. Think recovery, escorting, repairs, that sort of stuff, but requested by other players. Um, this week's MVP on ATV was Mr. Hasgaha. I can't say it even though I've been following him for so long. Mr. Hasgaha. Uh, his general services to Star Citizen have been pretty awesome. He makes really great cool little pictures including the Big Benny's addiction uh, little posters and announcements. Check out his YouTube channel as well. He does some great content. This week's ATV Fast Forward was more of the Caterpillar interior. Um, hopefully they move off from that soon. I do love seeing the Caterpillar's interior, but it does feel like we've seen a lot of the same now. Uh, in RTV, some of the other stuff we haven't talked about, there was some general 2.5 and Gamescom in info really there. Um, CIG are planning to attend Gamescom 
and Citizen Con as they are major events this year. Um, Big Benny t-shirts are on sale for $25 excluding taxes. Subscribers that order one will also receive a free uh, Big Benny's clothing patch as well with that order. Uh, there's... Um, been lots of changes with ATV, RTV, and their video um, formatting with CIG. Um, so the new format expectations at the moment, they're considering having a different studio featured each week in a with a larger update so they can literally talk about uh, larger topics and focus on specific things that they think are important this is all still in flux though at the moment while they test things and while they get people's uh, feedback and opinions on these atvs that they've been doing recently other than that, there's Brotherton Con, which is going to be on the 23rd of July up in Manchester, UK. Link in the description for that. There will be tickets sold at the door, but it will be a pretty big uh, Star Citizen meet um, for a social event with lots of the devs there. There will be panels from devs, panels from YouTubers and streamers, and lots of other random cool stuff happening, uh, as well as some um, new Star Citizen-based kind of peripherals and stuff being shown there, done by, like, GameCab, that sort of stuff. So this will be quite fun, should be quite cool. I'm going to be there. Woo! <laughs> Gamescom info as well. They are shipping off in shipping containers Captain Richard, DJ Knight, Bad News Baron, and Twerk17 to Gamescom on the 17th to the 21st of August. Uh, they're going to be streaming various gameplay from Star Citizen during the event on a booth that apparently looks like the uh, bridge of an Idris. It should be pretty awesome. Um, there should be a new ship announced at that event too, in one of the pop-up events that are ha happening every evening for fans to all meet together. Um, there are also kind of talking about lots of other stuff, but it's kind of quite tightly under wraps at the moment. Everything else is just kind of rumour and speculation. We know that they might have a special Star Citizen build for the event, but we're still a little bit unsure about that. We'll kind of have to wait until closer to the event. Also, they've done a Ballad of Big Benny's kind of um, community footage trailer. Um, check that out as well if you're interested. But other than that, that's it from this week's news. And um, if you had a weird explosion outside my house, I think it was someone chopping wood. Who knows? I'll go check in a minute. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please try and come down to Prison Con if you can. It should be fun. Um, tell me what you thought about the news in the description below because, you know, more comments is good comments and gives me feedback and I like talking to you guys. We've also got a dragonfly to be won um, and to win that, you just have to comment on any of our Star Citizen con uh, content during the month of July. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the verse or at, at Britain Con, you know, because you might be there. Take care, guys.